We're on problem 61. It says the point minus 3 comma 2 lies on a circle whose equation is x plus 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to r squared. Which of the following must be the radius of the circle? So the way to think about it is, is that this point satisfies this equation, right? So if we if we put this point in it, well, you know, any any point on the equation will satisfy both sides of this equality sign. So all we have to do is substitute the x and the y here and see what r squared has to be equal to. So let's do that. So we get if we substitute the minus three in for x, so you get let me do it here. Let me do it in a darker color. You get minus three, I just substituted for the x, plus three squared plus now y, y is two, two plus one squared is equal to r squared. See three minus three plus three, that's just zero. Zero squared is zero. And then two plus one squared, so three squared is equal to r squared. You can say r squared is equal to nine and then r is equal to three, because you can't have a negative radius, right? But we see immediately that r is equal to three. So all you have to do is substitute the x and the y values, right? Because any point, any point that satisfies this equality is on the circle defined by this equation. They say this point is on the circle, so you just have to substitute them in and just solve for r. Problem 62. Looks like we're going to do some trigonometry. In the figure below, if sine of x is equal to 5 over 13, what are the cosine of x and tangent of x? And I don't know if you've seen the basic trigonometry videos. You might want to. But a good mnemonic for memorizing sine, cosine, and tangent is so katoa. So ka so ka toa. And that means so is sine is equal to sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, and I'll tell you what these mean in a second. And tangent, you might have guessed, you might have guessed is equal to opposite over adjacent. So what does that mean? What is all of you know, this mnemonic? So just you might want to remember Sokotoa, and then you could break it down like that. So that means, so if I took the sine of this angle, right? That means the opposite side of this angle over the hypotenuse is equal to the sine of this angle. So they tell us that the sine, so if I call, let's call this the opposite. That's the opposite side. This is the hypotenuse, right? That's the hypotenuse. This is the adjacent side, right? Because it's adjacent to the angle. This one's opposite, hypotenuse adjacent. So the sine of x, sine of x, is equal to, we know from our mnemonic, Sokoto is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And they tell us that that is equal to 5 over 13. 5 over 13. Right, so the ratio, so opposite over hypotenuse is equal to 5 over 13. Now, we know that that's just the ratio between the two, so we don't know. You know, this could be 10 and this could be 26. This could be 1 and this could be 13 over 5. Who knows? But it actually doesn't matter, because that's, that's what's neat about trigonometry. It's all about the ratio. So let's just assume that this is 5, that the opposite is equal to 5, and the hypotenuse is equal to 13. Let me pick, pick a different color. This is a little nauseating. All right, so if the opposite is 5 and the hypotenuse is 13, what would the adjacent be equal to? Well, we could use a Pythagorean theorem. So we could say the adjacent squared, right, a squared plus the opposite squared, so plus 5 squared plus 25, is equal to 13 squared. 13 squared is it's 169, I think. If you subtract 25 from both sides of this equation, you get a squared is equal to 144. a is equal to 12. So a is equal to 12. And we don't know that a is definitely equal to 12, but we know that the ratio of, say, the opposite to adjacent is 5 to 12, because we just assumed that the opposite is 5. Anyway, so they want to know what are cosine of, x, cosine of x and tangent of x. So ka, so ka toa. Cosine, let me write it here, cosine of x is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. The adjacent is 12, hypotenuse is 13, so it's equal to 12 over 13. That's the cosine of x. And the tangent of x, tangent of x is equal to opposite over adjacent, toa, opposite over adjacent. So opposite is 5, adjacent is 12, equal to 5 twelfths. 
And let's see what choice that is. That's choice A. Cosine of x is 12, 13. Tangent of x is 5 over 12. Next question. Oh, it looks like they want us to learn a lot of trigonometry and geometry, which is good. This is get you warmed up for the trig. In the figure below, sine of a is equal to 0.7. So this is, let's call this angle a. The sine of that is equal to 0.7. They say, what is the length of ac? So we want to know that. Well, let's call that x, right? So so katoa, so. So tells us that sine, sine of some angle let's call that theta, is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So sine of a, in this example, sine of a, sine of this angle, sine of a, is going to be equal to the opposite, 21 over the hypotenuse, over x, over x. And they tell us that the sine of a is equal to 0.7. So that's also equal to 0.7. So now we could just solve this equation for x, and we're done. Let's see. So if you multiply x times both sides, you get 21 is equal to 0.7x. And then you divide both sides by 0.7. You get 21 over 0.7 is equal to x. See, 21 divided by 7 is 3, so 21 divided by 0.7 is 30. So x is equal to x is equal to 30. And that and that's length AC. That's choice C. Next question, 64. Approximately how many feet tall is the street light? Okay. So we can use some trigonometry here. So let's see, we have if we know this angle, this is and they give us the, all of the trig ratios for that angle. We're trying to figure out the height. So if I write Sokatoa so ka toa. What do we have? What are we trying to figure out? So they gave us the adjacent, right? This is adjacent to the angle. It's right beside it. This is adjacent. The height that we're trying to figure out, this is the opposite. This is the opposite. So if we can have a trig function that deals with the opposite and the adjacent, well, that's tangent, right? Toa, tangent of any angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. In this case, Tangent, let me write it here, tangent of 40 degrees is going to be equal to the opposite. The opposite is h, that's what we're trying to solve for, over the adjacent. The adjacent is 20 feet. Okay, And tan of 40 degrees isn't something that most people have memorized, and that's OK, because they gave it, for it to us. Tangent of 40 degrees is 0.84, so this is 0.84, so we get 0.84 is equal to h over 20. See, so we can multiply both sides of that by 20, and we get h, I don't know if you can read that. Let me do it in a brighter color. h is equal to 20 times 0.84. And that is equal to, let's see, 20 times 2, let's see, 2 times, OK, it's going to be 16.8, right? Twenty. Right, 2 times 0.84 is 1.68, and then right, 20 is 16.8. And that is choice C. Problem 65. Right triangle ABC is pictured below. A, B, C. Which equation gives the correct value for B, C? For B, C. So this is what they want us to figure out. This is B, C right there. Right. Okay, so let's let's read them. Let me let me write Sokatoa. I always I actually do this a lot when I'm Sokatoa. Okay, so they're saying that the sine. So all of they're saying the sine of 32 degrees is equal to BC over 8.2. Is that right? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. They're doing BC is definitely the opposite, but they're doing the opposite. 8.2 is not the hypotenuse. 10.6 is the hypotenuse. So they're doing this is the adjacent. So this is wrong. Right? This is the opposite, and that's the adjacent. So this should be a tangent. Tangent of 32 is equal to BC over 8.2. Right? This is the adjacent side, adjacent to 32 degrees. And this is the, that's the opposite. That's the hypotenuse. So that's not right. Choice B, cosine of 32. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine 
of 32 should be adjacent 8.2 over 10.6. So this should be an 8.2 here. So this isn't right. OK. So the next one, tangent of 58 degrees. So where are they getting that 58? Well, they know that this is 32, this is 90. So this is going to be 180 minus 32 minus 90, because the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So this angle right here is 58. Right? That's 58 degrees. And now we'd have to, if we use that angle, we have to relabel opposite and adjacent and all of that. So from this angle's point of view, tangent, let's see, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So now the opposite side, so if we write the tangent of 58 is equal to the opposite side, it should be equal to 8.2 over its adjacent side, over BC. Right, this is adjacent to this angle. It was opposite this angle, but BC is adjacent to this angle. So that's what they wrote. So choice C is correct. And we're done. I'll see you in the next video. Well, we're not done the whole thing. I'll, I'm done with this.